Hi everybody, this is Steve Alales from Valley Home Development. We're out here in Novato, California. This is a uh, new second unit that we're uh, wrapping up. Thought I'd take a video and take, let you take a look at it. This is the uh, primary residence here, up front. Um, we got a new second unit. I don't know if anybody saw the videos, but uh, we did a quick uh, uh, time-lapse photography of the house being set, so I thought I'd give people a little better look at what's going on with this house here. So. Uh, construction's pretty much wrapped up. We're just doing some touch-up items, and uh, this week here we'll be putting in the steps. That's Ruben and Jaime. Jaime up there working on trimming out the uh, fascia here. So this is the detached second unit, and we'll be doing a nice deck here that attaches to the existing deck. So I'm going to go around back here so we can get a better shot at the front. This is the... Uh, had to put in a... Um, uh, sewage pump on this one because there was uh, not enough gravity feed for the regular sewer connection so that's what that is there so let's wrap around back here as you can see they have a nice big backyard so this is an ideal property for one of these I'm gonna go over here to the back corner here so we can take a different shot of it this is the back of the main house here and I'm walking over to the far corner of the property and there's our new second unit uh, Obviously the basketball court probably won't be sitting there when we're done. Same thing, we got to do a new deck here off of the front and then tie uh, similar steps and stuff to match. Should be really nice when it's all tied in. Like I said, we probably got about another week before we wrap that up. So let me see if I can climb up in here. Open this door. Okay. So we're inside here. This is the living room kitchen area here. Get a nice view of the kitchen. Let me shut this door here so you can see. So we got a nice big kitchen with a pantry there. Um, they decided to go with the black appliances. Nice skylight, can lighting. Uh, stove's out because we're getting ready to put the connection in. But let me get a shot of the floor plan here. So, so this is the site plan here. I don't know if you can see, but there's the main house. Walk down this alleyway here. There's our new second unit. Went out to the back corner and we kind of walked in through the doorway here. Let me get the page turned here. This is the actual floor plan. So we came in the set of doors here. Family room, living room area, dining kitchen. Got a nice big bath with a stack washer and dryer. Huge walk-in closet. Nice big master bedroom. Um, father's moving into this little unit, so he's going to live in here by himself. Nice little place for him. So let's take a look around the rest of the space. So here's the living room. There's the French doors we came in. Um, we've got this thing. You see the outlets on the wall over there. It's set up to uh, put the uh, big screen mounted on the wall. Um, and this is the side door that you can enter in off of the, uh, the private driveway that he's got set up here. Going around this way here, the uh, furnace door is off because we're doing some last minute adjustments on this. This is the furnace, it sits right here. As we go into the master bedroom, you see a high transom window there, uh, bringing some natural light but still gives you plenty of wall space for a bed. The windows looking into the garage, or I'm sorry, the backyard. The garage. Hello. I'm going to spin all the way around here so we can see the doorway coming into the bedroom. And then this is our bathroom. So come into the bathroom area here, and we've got the uh, we've got a, a 1.28 gallon flush toilet. So it's a high energy efficiency toilet. Um, it's set up for ADA height. Uh, got the grab bars in the shower. Um, we'll be changing that shower head out to a uh, hose. It's got a nice big storage area. I won't call it the linen because we actually have a separate linen in here. But you can see a nice big storage area. We've got uh, short shelves in there so it's a great place to book rooms and vacuums. Get all that miscellaneous stuff out of the way here. Um, kind of move around. We've got the sink. We've got a grab rail near the sink. Um, he's not handicapped uh, or immobile but um, you know, we set it up so that it, it, if that happens in the future it's a little easier for him to access. Uh, and then here we have our pantry. So we've got the pantry, and right next to that is a place for the stack washer and dryer. It looks like we have a light on here. We don't actually. This is one of those sky tubes. 
so it brings in good natural lighting. Um, there is a light, let's wait till we refocus, there's a light over the sink, uh, and then we've got also a uh, functional window here. Go back out. Back out in the master bedroom. It's set up with a light, but um, they can also put a ceiling fan there. Um, this house is sprinklered too, so it has fire sprinklers. Smoke detectors are all standard. We'll peek in the closet here. I'm holding up Ruben here. He's uh, 